Brian Tong here with CNET.com, and yes, in my hand, this is the iPad. And I've got to tell you that it does feel uh, pretty sturdy. It has a nice weight to it. It's one and a half pounds, and it's half an inch thick. And when you look at it, you might think, well, it looks like a really big iPod Touch, and it does have a lot of features very similar, but what they've done is actually rebuilt a lot of the core apps specifically for this device. So if we look at something like Mail, and you can see the layout of your emails, but you can actually view them here in the right-hand column, and you'll see this in a lot of the other applications. You also find a redesigned iTunes store, and what also makes this unique is the store itself is laid out differently. It's really taken advantage of the larger screen space, so you have a really a better user experience. You also have access to your photos. There's kind of a cool photo frame feature where you dock it and you press a button and it'll actually turn into this kind of digital photo frame. You also have access to movie content as well and all of your applications. Now some of the unique innovative features of this device is the iBooks and the iBooks bookstore. So what this is, this is a bookshelf and much like iTunes you can get access to books and instantly download them to the device. And then one of the main things that I think that makes this unique is, sure it's not e-ink, but this is a full color screen. Also you have the touch capability to turn pages. You can even take it nice and slow if you want to. Now a lot of the apps, most of the apps that are currently on the App Store will work with the iPad. They do have this feature that's basically a doubler that fills out the game to the screen. I can just click right here and it doubles the pixels, so you're still going to get a full screen experience. There will be apps that are customized specifically for the iPad, so you can wait and see that when the actual device releases. Another feature they're really pushing is being able to use some of their desktop apps from the iWork suite directly on the device. They have also been redesigned just for multi-touch, so all you do is use your fingers. So you have an application that you're familiar with, like Keynote, which is a PowerPoint application, and this will allow you to interact with your slideshow and use it with your hands. Now the iPad, what's the pricing going to start at? Well, there's two flavors, really. There's a Wi-Fi version and then Wi-Fi with 3G. If you want the entry-level Wi-Fi model, that's going to start at $499 and go up to $699. Then if you want a Wi-Fi and 3G version, that's going to start at $629 and go all the way up to $829 for the 64 gig version. Now the iPad overall, it is a unique, innovative device. Uh, I don't feel really super compelled to buy one at the moment, but I really think that will change as more media content that you can interact with that makes a unique experience comes out. But overall, there's your first look at the iPad. I'm Brian Tong with CNET.com.